Hello world, this is Westlip290 here, and today I'm going to show you how to completely secure or encrypt both your Mac OS X hard drive as well as your backup drive. Now, we're going to be doing this with a program called FireVault. There's no program you need to download. This comes automatically installed on Macs. Uh, what you're going to want to do is open, is go into System Preferences, click on Security and Privacy, and click on the one that says FireVault. Uh, before you can turn it on, you have to click on this lock right here, which will to uh, and type in your admin password to uh, be able to access it. And then, um, what this will basically program basically does is encrypts your hard drive and makes it impossible for anybody who has maybe stolen your laptop or maybe you left your laptop or your backup drive somewhere or I don't know maybe you can't lost it or something whatever that situation may be this will keep anybody from seeing your personal files as long as they they don't have your password so well that as I'm just gonna go ahead and try and answer some questions you might have and just gonna throw this out there the answers to some questions will depend on the technical specifications of your computer so as for whether or not this will slow your computer down it may if you don't have very much processing power but you only notice it like a little bit if you have decent processors like a four gigabyte processor you can check on how much processing power your computer has by, go by going to Apple and clicking on about this Mac so we're going to turn on Firewall now and here's the key if you want if you want you, well, actually, not if you want. You sh you need to definitely want to write this key down, because if you d if you don't have if you like forget the uh, password to your computer or something, and you don't have this key, you're you're done. You ha you will lose everything, and you have to like erase your hard drive and lose all your files, and um, it's not fun. So definitely write this down. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take a screenshot of it right now. I might see if I can change this later. Then click continue. You can store the recovery key with Apple. In that case, if you forget it or lose it, whatever, uh, the, you can basically take it into the Apple store and they can pull it up for you. And, or you don't have to. If you choose to... to Store the recovery key with Apple. Sorry, my uh, screen recording software glitched up for a second there. Um, I'll show you. You will have to have to set up security questions and all that. So um, I'm just going to choose not to store it, in which case only you know the password, obviously, and click continue, and this will start the encryption process. Um, one thing I should mention is that this will basically make Recovery HD completely useless. Uh, you will still be able to get into Recovery HD, but you base it because uh, the Fire um, Fire Vault doesn't block Recovery HD in the way that a um, keychain password does. But you basically won't be able to like repair the. You won't. You basically won't be able to like get at, still won't be able to get access to the hard drive and stuff. So there you go. Let's click continue. And I mean, I need to restart the computer now. So, I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Yeah, so as you can see, the encryption process has started, and it's saying it's going to take 22 hours on my laptop. Um, I'm, going to pause, I'm not going to make you watch that whole thing. I'll have to resume the video when it's done. I just thought I'd show you what you should be seeing right now, roughly. I'll pause the video again now. Pick up when it's done. So as you can see, it's still encrypting, and 5 volts is on, and now my hard drive is encrypted. Now I'm going to show you how to encrypt your backup drive. You're going to want to go to Enter Time, up sheet, time, up, time Machine, and backups are going to work a bit different from now on. Um, it should back up while the computer's in sleep mode. Um, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your backup. So, oh, sorry, open Time Machine Preferences. And go to Options. Go 
turn this off for now. Click, select this. Select what your the name of your disk. And uh, click on Encrypt Backups and click Use Disk. You must create a backup password. Time Machine will use the backup password to encrypt your backup disk. If you forget the backup password, you won't be able to restore any data from the backup disk. So, yeah, you're going to want to write this pa password down somewhere. And, of course, I'm just going to set it Send mine to my YouTube username because I don't want you guys knowing. And click Encrypt Disk. And you'll get this option. I mean, this progress bar. So yeah, it's now encrypting your backup disk. So obviously, again, this is going to take a while. I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch this. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done. But we're on the right track. So once that's done, you're finished. I'm going to show you kind of how to turn encryption off now. Now for Time Machine, I don't have my disk plugged in at the moment. But uh, what you would do is just, if you just... Go into your backup disk options, and uh, uns you would deselect the encrypt backup option, backup option, and that would decrypt it. And uh, I'll show you how to turn Fire Vault off as well, which will unencrypt your hard drive. Um, what you would do is go Fire Vault, type in your admin password here, and click on Turn Off Fire Vault. Then you have to click OK and uh, that will decrypt your hard drive as well. So that's about it for this video. Hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Ha leave a like, subscribe, and uh, this is, have a nice day. This is What's Up 290, and I am signing off.